What will you do with Jesus? A website devoted to Christian hymns lists more than 15 songs that have What Will You Do With Jesus as their title or the first line of their refrain. This echoes Pilate's question when the Jews demanded Barabbas be freed instead of Jesus. Then what shall I do with Jesus, who's called Christ? Matthew chapter 27, verse 22. This is a good question for us all. Jesus' opponents did a lot with him. They argued with him, opposed him, plotted against him, and crucified him. These are bad ways to deal with Jesus. His friends usually did better as they listened to him, worshipped him, followed him, thanked him, and loved him. But they also confused by him. They disappointed him and they argued with him. And they even denied him. When the gospel of Jesus was preached after his death and resurrection, some still rejected him and persecuted his followers. Others hesitated to make a decision about him or tried to stay neutral. Those who believed became Christians, and they confessed, and they obeyed him, they proclaimed him, they worshipped him, loved him, adored him, and glorified him. Our response to Jesus is largely an emotional one. Realizing that the Son of God died to save us from our sins makes us choose between Him and our sins. So, what will you do with Jesus? We invite you to the Mulvane Church of Christ. Come see what a difference the Bible way makes. Find out more at mulvanechurch.com.